You cannot sit in a mistake too long because you're gonna sit in that mistake a long ass time and you're gonna look up and everybody else has gotten things done and you still sitting at the same spot. Like, that's not what you want. It's not a good feeling. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. In today's society, everything seems so like instant or like even just because we have social media, we see people's successes more than we see their failures. And people only share the good stuff. So it's like you you can find yourself in a rut of like, oh well, why did why is it happening so quick for this person or why is it happening? So quick for that person but you're not realizing like this may be their thousandth time trying this one thing i want you guys to really think about like who are you doing this for like when it comes to your goal when it comes to your weight loss or any any kind of goal who are you doing it for are you doing it for money are you doing it for to look successful online like what are you doing it for and i, I want you to really think about that because you have to be doing it for yourself and it's kind of just like it comes to a point where it's either like you want it or you don't. I get a lot of questions of people, I can just relate this back to a weight loss because I get a lot of questions of people like, dog, like how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you stay motivated? How do you eat right? How do you drink water? How do you go to the gym? How do you feel like it? And it's just like, y'all, I real life don't be feeling like doing none of that stuff either. But I have, trusted the process and I saw that it worked. Like I literally told myself last year, this is the last year that I will feel uncomfortable in my skin. Like you cannot show up in this world if you're not comfortable. So I showed up for myself every single day. I worked out even when I didn't feel like it. I ate healthy when I wanted something bad. And it's like, you have to build this muscle to do that. And you know what that muscle is called? The muscle is called discipline. So if you don't have motivation that day, you fall back on your discipline. Like discipline is there to catch you. But the thing is like discipline is not something that is created overnight. Like it is literally a muscle that you have to build. And the way that you build discipline is through creating habits and routines and systems that work for you. Like for example, I like to be at the gym around four. If I need to be at the gym around four, that means I need to be asleep a little bit earlier and my alarms need to be going off a little bit earlier. So the thing is you have to figure out, you know, what exactly works for you. If you're a person who likes, no, I like to sleep in, I'm gonna go to the gym after work. Okay, then set up a way that you can go to the gym after work. Like keep your gym bag in your car so you're holding yourself accountable. When you get in the car, you see your gym bag, I'm going to the gym. And it's just like the more you do it, the more you get comfortable with the habit and with the routine. I'm not saying like you have to do this all the time and you won't have fuck ups and you won't make mistakes. But the thing is, and I found myself doing this in the past, it's like once you fall into a mistake, you make another mistake and you make another mistake and you just fall back into this pattern to where you're just not getting the shit done that you need to get done. And we live in a world where everybody's so scared to say stuff and they're like, oh, you need to offer yourself grace. Grace is good. As humans, we need grace. But honestly, God gives you the grace. Like, you can give yourself grace, but I feel like when it comes to certain things, you cannot give yourself too much leeway, guys. Like, when you think about it, if you keep giving yourself grace every freaking time, you only hurting yourself because you're continuously pushing yourself further and further away from your goals. And it's like, you get to a point where you're like, damn, I'm starting over again. I'm starting over again. I'm starting over again. But that's because you're giving yourself too much grace. And I know it's not good to have like this all or nothing attitude, but baby, if you want something, you're gonna do it. Like, it's just as simple as that. And even if you do have a mistake or you do have a cheat day or you do have a bad day, that don't mean repeat it the next day. Like, give, your, give yourself a day. Like, all right, 
Today, all I feel like doing is laying up in the bed, scrolling TikToks, drinking hot chocolate, or eating hot Cheetos. Give yourself that one day, but guess what? When you wake up the next day, you back on your routine, you back on your water, you back in the gym, you back reading your books, you back meditating. Like you cannot sit in a mistake too long because you're gonna sit in that mistake a long ass time and you're gonna look up and everybody else has gotten things done and you still sitting at the same spot. Like that's not what you want. It's not a good feeling. Like, and you're literally not hurting anybody but yourself. So stop disappointing yourself and like keep your promises to yourself it's literally that simple and okay say you need grace one day but that don't mean you get you getting grace every day like come on now like you gotta be real with yourself there and i'm not trying to be mean or anything but it's just like it's like for real like you can't play with yourself you can't play with your goals like if you want to get something done you're going to figure out a way to get it done so as far as like when it comes to like weight loss for me um I know that I go to the gym every single day. Like, it, it, it's no problem. I go to the gym. I don't have a problem going to the gym. My problem is eating. And I'm a short girl. Short girls have a smaller calorie expenditure than taller girls. Like, it's just, it is what it is. So I literally, I have to eat like 1200 calories or I'm gonna or I'm gaining weight so a way to kind of like offset this and I know they say like you can't outrun a bad diet but you do need to be moving a little bit more and when you think about it like I feel like weight was so much easier to lose like in college or like fresh out of college but we lived a more active lifestyle when you think about it when you're in college you're literally walking from class to class and people will be like no nah, you just getting old it's not that you're getting old it's like now you work in corporate america and you're sitting at your desk for eight fucking hours like you have to find ways to move throughout your day so something that i did was i bought a walking pad so now i can walk while i work from home because even at home like if you're working from home your laptop is what you in the bed honestly be honest with yourself sometimes we just sit in the bed have our laptop do our work from our our bed but i got me a walking pad so i can walk a little bit more at home or say if the weather is bad and i can't get outside to walk and move i have my walking pad but another thing is like take some comfortable shoes to work i have to be in the office three days a week and every time i'm in the office and i have downtime i go walk the building i literally walk the building until i hit a mile and if i have time to do more than a mile i will so just move your body a little bit more it doesn't have to be so extreme to where you're like i have to go to the gym i have to go to the gym you don't you don't you can do shit for free honestly when i sprained my ankle i was um in a boot and a scooter for like three months. I couldn't go to the gym. And mind you, I sprained my ankle by falling off the stairmaster. So I was like, I still had to make sure that I was doing what I needed to do to achieve my goals, even if I was hurt. And people were like, take it easy, take a rest. Okay, if that works for you. But like, if I set out to have a goal, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush this goal. And I did crush this goal that year, like last year. So even though I was in a boot, I was literally watching a free YouTube videos on how to work out when you have a, a sprained ankle. And y'all, I was really like small. And then once I was able to get out the boot, I started walking outside more. I didn't feel like the pressure to go to a gym because I, at the end of the day, when you think about the process of going to the gym, it's honestly kind of like weird. Like you're literally in a room with other people in a room walking on a machine that helps you walk or lifting weights and it's just like you can literally get outside and do that stuff naturally you can use your body weight like it you don't have to do all of that so because i know um i was talking to my mom i'm like it's not like a lot of people in the gym this year and like she mentioned like well it might be a financial burden for some so if it's a financial burden for you figure out how you can do it at home and it can be just as good Another thing that kind of worked during that time is just because I knew I wasn't moving as much as I should and I was injured like come on now like you shouldn't even put that pressure on yourself but I did and I just made sure I was eating like way less like I wasn't eating as much processed foods like I literally was eating like fruits and veggies and for dinner I'll have like a stir fry or something but it kind of helped me really realize like 
some of the times you're not even hungry. Like I kind of feel like I'm hungry now, but it's really you be dehydrated. So get your water in too. Like you just have to create and, and stack these little habits up to where it just becomes a part of your life. Like, and I kind of feel like it'll honestly help your mental health as well. It's just like, when you look good, you feel good. And then also like just being a person who can stick to a routine and stay disciplined, that makes you feel good. That gives you confidence. That knows that if you put yourself to a goal and you're disciplined, you're gonna make sure you get your goal. So obviously that is good for your mental health as well. So it's like, it's just time to like walk the walk and talk the talk. Like, and the thing is like motivation is never gonna always be there. Like motivation comes and goes, like how you feel is never gonna be the same, especially if you're a girl. Like we have a 28 day cycle. I literally probably feel good only about five days off a month, like as far as like attitude and mood and stuff. So it's like, we can't let those external factors stop us from achieving our goal. We have to create routine and systems and have them in place to where it's just like, it's just second nature at this point. It's like, all right, it's 4 a.m. Let me get up. Let me make my oatmeal. Let me put my clothes on. Let me brush my teeth. Let me grab my water bottle for my pre-workout. Grab my Stanley so I can be hydrated. Let me go to my car and let me drive my little tail to the gym. Like it's literally that simple. If you do that every single day, when you wake up and you don't do it, you're gonna be like, dang, I'm missing something. Like, so honestly, it's all about the discipline. It's all about the routine because at the end of the day, you're never gonna feel like doing it every single day. You may have spurts and times where it's just like, oh yes, I'm on fire for my goals. But like, let's be real, we're human. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know somebody who is like kind of struggling with their weight loss or just struggling like how to stay motivated or get disciplined or get a routine, send them this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.